What is up, people? What is up, people? Look at that. LEC schedule is already up and running, boys. Let's go. Man, oh man, we're going to have some spice in this in these business. Whew. Let's see what's the first matchup we're going to have. Oh, look at that. Vitality versus Mad. Vitality versus Mad. Oh, man. Defending champions against probably the most hyped team in all of the land. I mean, you cannot ask for something, man. You just you cannot ask for something, man. I mean, I mean, hmm. Should I predict my matches? You know, should I predict my matches? Who's gonna win? I mean, that's probably next week. I will do that. I will probably schedule that. I mean, I don't know. Next week, let's call it Wednesday, of course. Maybe Thursday, but I think Wednesday will be perfect, so I can get you know get myself ready for for the matches. So I feel like you know this matchup is just so so hyped. I mean this. I mean this matchup is hyped as well, but this matchup is just so so hyped. I mean, you know, you got Karzy versus the whole team, and you got like the Mad Lions with a brand new squad. I mean, I can read the squad. I can I can just sell your squad. Armad, Eloya, Reeker, Unforgiven, Kaiser. I mean, it it's it's it feels like a Mad Lions squad that made me feel like um okay um they're not as strong, but they can hurt you in so many ways. And I think, even, look at the Vitality Squad. I mean, look look at those Vitality Squad. Afari, Selfmade, Perks, Karzy, Labrov. I mean, this is like big name city, man. This is like championship or bust kind of kind of attributions, man. This is champ. This this looks like championship or bust, man. Um, I don't know, man. This is gonna be a more high match. This is gonna be a high match. The first game of the first game of the season, and you brought out this. Wow, <laughs> impressive. Um, SK and Rogue, I think this is going to be a, you know, a Rogue victory, um, like a Rogue, Rogue, Rogue beaten. Um, it's just dependent on how Rogue and their playstyle can, you know, work together, you know, with the Odawambes and the Malarang and the Larsons and the Kump and Trimby on the squad. I think, you know, the playstyle is, I think it depends on how the playstyle is doing well and how the meta shapes up for them. But I think I okay, I have given them a win over this SK squad with a squad of Gen X, Gilius, Dedos, Jesus, and Treats. Actually, I think this SK squad is not bad. I just don't know if they can, you know, sustain it as a really strong rogue team, but who knows? Um G2 XL. Uh oof. Big redemption year for G2. Um Yanko's get extended, so does Caps. So Yanko's and Caps are still here. Broken Blade is on top. Cap Flake and Targamas is down the bottom. And you got Dylan Falco as a coach. Um The Fate of his Excel with Finn, Marku, Noob Dog, Patrick, and Adovine. I, I just I just feel like G2 is gonna win this one. We know Broken Blake is good. We know Yanko's and Caps is good. Flake and Targamas. I feel like if there's a there's a if this is a year for G2 to redeem themselves after a, a, a crap storm of, of last year with the big names and everything and can't make it to Worlds. I think this is the this team is good enough to at least compete for the title. At least good enough to compete. Um Misfits of Astralis. Oh boy. Uh, this is probably the sleeper game. Um uh, Astralis Squad, Why Knight, Azari, Dahor, Kobe, Promiscu. And this is taking on versus Hirit, Shalat. Vito, Neon, and Mursa. Um, uh, I think Misfits are going to be fine. I don't know about Astralis. I, I think Astralis' mid lane could be okay, but I think Misfits are going to be fine. I feel like Misfits are going to be fine. They're good enough to win. I feel like they're, they're, they're good enough to win. I feel like, you know, Misfits are going to be strong enough to make playoffs and maybe go all the way. Who knows? This, this match... This match, I feel like the moment that the, the whole Adam and, and upset drama happens, I just feel like the LEC schedule is like, hey, you know what makes the LEC matchup so incredible? Put it the new team and the old team facing each other. Let's put Adam and Cars, let, let's put Adam and upset in a brawl and see what happens. I mean, holy, can you believe it? Okay, Wander, Raza, Cuminoid, Upset, Hillisang versus the team of Adam. Syncroft, Nuclear, X Maddie, and Limit. I don't know, man. It's Adam versus Wonder from like summer summer last year, and then Adam versus Upset. It is Adam versus Upset, boys. You don't. You, I mean, Fnatic and BDS will be fine, but it's Adam versus Upset. Just think about it. Adam versus Upset. Given everything that the drama has provided since 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 last year, holy cow.
I feel like, you know, for this season, if, if there's a T player who needs a redemption, it's probably upset because he missed out, because he kind of, you know, it, I'm not saying it's his fault, but he's kind of, you know, flanked out his team on world because of, you know, family issues. And I think, I think you know, if there's anybody who could, you know, you know, needed a big, big, big year, it's probably him. I think Hillisang will be fine. I mean, we all know Humanoid is great. Wander needs a redemption year as well, of course, because of his crap performance that summer. So I think, you know, Fnatic needs a big year as well. I mean, BDS are going to be no slouches. I think this, these teams are going to be fine. I think Adam, we all know how he can how he performed. So, boy. But to put this matchup in the first day? Golly, man. That's incredible, man. Um, okay. So, you know, so that's just day one. Um, the rest of the schedule will be on, like, the Dot .esports online and the Dot .esports app if you have it. Um, and, of course, the Leagueopedia website, of course, if you can find it. Um, of course, I'm going to tell you the rest. BDS, Excel, Rogue, Misfits, SK, Mad Lions, G2, Astralis, Vitality, Fnatic, Vitality, Excel, BDS, Misfits, Rogue, Astralis, SK, Fnatic, Mad G2. I think Mad G2 will be the most interesting matchup. So does Vitality, Fnatic. So I got Vitality, Mad, BDS, Fnatic, Vitality, Fnatic. Mad G2. Those are my four big matches of the weekend. Of that weekend. Um, ooh, so, I mean, you know, I'm not a better, and of course, none of you, I mean, some of you are, and, you know, better responsibly, but I will go and project how many wins a team should get. And I think this depends on, you know, who's going to make playoffs and such. So I'm going to go with Astralis first. And I think I'm gonna look at the schedule. Oof. I'm looking at the schedule and I'm seeing. Oh, let's call it hmm, six and ten. Actually, no, six wins. S no, six wins. Six. Okay, just just, just six games. Six six wins. Um, Excel. Um, hmm. Excel. Um. Hmm. I think they can beat G2. I think we know that. I mean, you never know. I mean, you never know what happens in League of Legends. But I feel like, you know, they're going to get five wins. And sadly, no players for them again. Fnatic? I think Fnatic will be good. Um, Are they good enough to, you know, take down the mighty dominance that is, that is you know, Mad Lions and Vitality. I think they so we don't know about how good Mad Lions new squad could be. So I think they, that could be a throw in the wrench. I think they are going to get nine wins and playoffs. Um G2. I think G2 will be fine. I think they'll get eleven wins and playoffs. Not top C, but playoffs as well. Mad Lions. Oh, I oof. Now, I think Mac is a great coach. I think he can know how the squad works. But, I mean, when your only leader is Armat, who's been to his, who been to the squad for only a year, and a rookie who's also been there for a season, I think that's going to be used like, like problems for this team. I'm not sure about Mad Lions. I'm going to give them eight wins. Just eight and eight and maybe playoffs. They might sneak in there. Misfits. Um, hmm. I think it'll be fine. I think they'll get like maybe eight wins, I believe. Maybe eight. I think eight wins is good enough. Rogue. I don't know about their. I mean, the squad is okay, but I don't know about the play style and 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 you know losing two of the members of the squad inspired and Han Sama to North America is gonna be tough for them. Um. Who? So I got them maybe. I call it a 10 win team. 10 wins. Not going to be top, but okay. SK, oh boy, SK is going to be a 2 win team. 2 wins. Um, BDS, um, they're not going to be as bad as Rogue 2019. I think I'm going to give them 6 wins. And Vitality, oh boy. I mean, if the squad pops really well and play good together, it will be like 12 wins easy, but. I think for now, we're going to give them also 10 wins. Maybe 9. 
So yeah, so based on the standings, I got, let's look at the standings, I got G2 first, I got G2 first, um, G2 first, Rogue second, Vitality third, um, fourth, fourth, oh, who's fourth, um, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, come on, come on, oh, Fnatic, yeah, Fnatic, we fourth, based on head-to-head, -head, I think head-to-head, -head, I think Vitaly will win the head-to-head -head battle, um, let's see, um, Mad Misfits, oof, I think I got, I got, Mad, and then Misfits based on time better. so that's, so those are my playoff teams. And then seventh is going to go. Wait, actually, ninth is basically SK. Um, XL. I mean, hmm, BDS. I mean, BDS will get in by head to head. Then Astralis. Then XL. And they'll miss out on the playoffs by a game again. So, yeah, this, 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 this is my, you know, um, LEC projected wins. And, um, who? My standings. Um, based on the projected wins I got. And probably my predictions. So I got G2 first, Rogue second, Vitality third, Fnatic fourth, Misfits, Mad fifth, Misfits sixth. Those are probably playoff. Those are probably like let's call it playoff cut line. There and the rest of them are the XL BDS Astralis and SK. I think you know you know X. I mean you know BDS can pull something, but I don't think they're gonna you know match the up very much. I think G2 will go top. G2 and Rogue will go one and two. Maybe Vitality might sneak to first. And I think Fnatic, Mad Lions, and Misfits will have to draw the position for like top four or something, which is pretty much huge because I think four teams can get into like the the winners bracket of the double elimination, which is going to be huge, significant. But I think that's pretty much all for this. Um, who? So yeah, right, February fourteenth, Babel. We are the LEC will go live and. Boy, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this, 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 this matchup. I mean, you know me. The LEC is probably my favorite, favorite region to watch. You know, not, I mean, yes, for the entertainment, but also for the drama, for the games. I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited for this. I am excited for all of this. Um, whew. This is going to be fun. Um, this is going to be fun, man. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Well, that's, that's going to be it. I mean, this is my first video in, like, a while. My first video in, like, like a couple of weeks, you know. I had to take some time off, you know, you know, thinking about myself and, you know, wait until this brand new year to just, you know, of course, you know, figure it out myself. And now I have to, now I'm doing this video for you, all the LEC fans, all the people in Europe, to just, you know, understand. And I love this region so much. I love the LEC so much. I, I, I know people like the LCS, but I love the LEC so much. I want the LEC to win Worlds. I want to do that. And if they don't, well, that will be a disappointment for me. Anyways, um, Happy New Year to all you people. Don't forget to be legendary. And we will see you later.